Hey y'all, I'm making some bows using Genevieve Designs templates and this is from her Build Embellishments kit and I'm, I'm doing the junk journal. And so I wanted to show you the size of these bows. Do you see that? Oh. Isn't that the cutest thing? Excuse my inky fingers. So I thought I'd show you how I do these teeny tiny ones. And this is where I've printed it at four in one or 25%. So I'll link the video on how to do the printing at a smaller size and I'll link that below. Okay, so we're going to do one and here's the base for it. Well, let me get it in the shot. Here's the base. There we go. And there's some other stuff in here. The way I do this is I put a little dot of glue in the middle. Oh, first of all, <laughs> the first thing I do is I use, uh, Jennifer uses a bone folder in her video and she'll rub the bone folder over them. And that works great for the big ones. But for the little ones, I use my paper piercer, my uh, pokey tool, and I just run my thumb over it was I even in camera? I run my th thumb over it like that. And that gets it much more curved. If I use the bone folder, I don't get that curve. So I do like that. And then it's, it's curved this way. Okay. Now, what I do is I add a little glue. I'm going to add another little dot just in case this is dry. And they are fiddly. So you kind of have to go with that. The next thing I do is on the end, can you, oh, on this end right here, I bend it back just a little bit, just a tad bit. And then when I do that, I can, it gives me sort of a flat piece to grab hold of the glue. And I press my tweezers on it. My finger was probably in the way for that whole thing. I'll do it again. Let me zoom in one more time. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Okay, so uh, a little bit of glue again, and I've got some there. I'm going to hold it with this hand. And then I will bend this edge back. And basically, I just grab hold of it with my tweezers and then give it a little bend. And it makes a little flat spot. Oh, goodness gracious. Is it? It may be blurry. There you can see how it flats out just a little bit. There. Okay, so... What we're going to do now is we're going to take it. I've got a little bit of glue there left. Otherwise, I'd add a little dot of glue. And this art glitter glue is really great. Use my tweezers. I'm going to grab hold of that and push it into... I don't know, maybe that, that glue's dry. <laughs> Let me see. Okay. You only need a little speck and that's why that art glitter glue is great because it's got such a small little um, precision tip needle nose tip oh goodness it's hard to work and show you when it's so close up okay the next thing I do is I add a dot in the center Ooh, that's a big dot for this little tiny bow. And then I look at the bow this way. Goodness, I look at the bow this way. And then I flip it over and I look at it this way and I decide which way I like it better. You know, if there's white showing or whatever, and I'm going to do this way. And I position it over the bottom and then I press with my tweezers into the middle. Our glitter glue is a wet glue so that gives me half a second to turn it if I need to. And there you have it. A super teeny tiny teeny tiny bow. 
What do you think about that? Okay? All right. I'll be back with some more junk journal very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave me a comment. And you can check out my other videos in the description box below. A link to Genevieve Designs Etsy shop will be below and to her channel, her YouTube channel for her videos. Well, that'll all be below. Okay, thanks so much. See you later. Bye. Hey y'all, I'm going to try to do this video because I want to show you an option on cr creating a center for your bows when you don't really want to put a gem or another flower or something like that on them. So what I've done... is I've used, can you see this teeny tiny one there? I just use regular um, thread from like Sew Machine. And this is the thread that I used on the inside of the album of the sig signatures. And so I thought what I do is I just wrap it around these little bows and create that center. And some of them, especially this one, this is my first one, is not as neat. So, I don't know if that's focusing or not, but it's not as neat. Like they're crisscrossing in the middle. And it doesn't matter because they're cute that way and they're cute when it's nice and neat like this one. Has it more nice and neat? I hope that's focusing. So... I thought I'd show you, but instead of using this thread um, that's difficult to see on the screen when I'm going around, I think what I'm going to do is use the same material that I'm going to use for the binding. The junk journal that I uploaded yesterday, I used a thicker twine. This is, I don't know where I got it or what it is, but it's, it's twine looking but it is uh, much more flexible and I think it's not going to be as difficult to work with. So I'm going to do a couple of bows with this. Um, I don't have very much. I want to make sure that I save enough for the binding. I'm going to do a three hole pamphlet stitch. I have watched videos and now I know what I'm doing and I'll come back and show you that too. Okay, so I'm going to pull a little bit of this out. So I've just got it pulled out is what I've done. Pulled out a big wad of it. I work off the roll so I don't have to waste any. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm actually going to make one with the big bow so that you can see it really well. But it's the same thing with all the bows. Okay, we're going to start by putting a little dab of glue in the center. And I take my the pin that comes out of the glue and I sort of rub it around a little bit to make it thinner and that way it'll dry faster because you're going to put this in the middle and you can either press it in with your finger or you can press it in with the pen and we have to wait for that to dry and it, it doesn't take you know five ten seconds uh, and then we're going to wrap it around here glue it again to secure it in the back and we can cut off our excess and not have wasted any of our twine. So we just leave it on the roll but pull out some so that you can work with it and it won't be pulling back on you. The little bows are fiddly uh, in terms of getting it to do but honestly the little bow I was able to do it better uh, than the bigger bows. The bigger bows, I end up almost pinching it flat on one side. And let's get started with this one and I'll show you. You can hold it this way, but for me, it doesn't give me as much um, stability, I guess, because I really need to have a good, see it's plenty dry now, I really need to have a good hold on my left hand so that I can pull with my right hand and I'm pulling fairly tight and if you have a loop, 
loose one you can go back a little bit but you're just going to go around a few times until it creates a center that you're happy with and then sometimes you just stop and say well okay I'm, I'm happy enough with that hope I was on camera okay so I'm going to bring my glue back put another dot of course my glue dried so let me poke the hole Art glitter glue, you just put your pen back in it and then it's ready to go. And a small, tiny dot of glue. Bring your thread or your string, whatever you're using, in the center of that dot of glue. And then I pat it. And again, you're going to have to hold it about 10 seconds uh, so that it will dry because if you let go right now, it's going to lift up. And if you, it lifts up, then you've basically defeated your purpose and you have to start back and glue again. So I'll give it just one more touch of glue since I lift it up to show you. And then in just a few seconds, it'll be ready. I wait to cut the string when the uh, glue is dry because if you don't, this action and then it'll pop up you know it doesn't have anything holding it down right now i've got it between my fingers uh so that i can hold it down snug okay i think it's dry enough and then i will snip it close and you can see the back is that not so cute i think i like this one better Okay, and then now I've got this flattened, whoo, get you on camera. Now I've got this flattened side here, and on the big bows, you can just kind of poke the edge like that. On the little bows, I take it, when I flatten them on one side, and again, I'm not flattening to pinch it, I'm not flattening to pinch it flat. I'm, I'm sort of, it's flattening more at the middle. Do you see? And then on these, what I do is I use my needle tool or some other kind of something I've got around here. And then I will go in and I will put the needle tool in and pull and then press with my fingers. And it does a little bit better than if I just pushed on the end on the little bows. And that one I just... Did the same thing on this side, pressing on it. There you go. You see? I hope. I hope it was clear, not blurry. And I'm just going to continue and do more of these. So I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please uh, leave me a comment below. Press like. And if you want more information, you can click the arrow beside the title of my video. And you can get the more information, the links to Genevieve Designs templates, which is where I got these bow templates. You can get the information on where to find more videos in this same series. And if you've got any questions, leave me a comment. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.